so the the 14T was uh, not not the best car we ever made. It was weak aerodynamically, and it was weak in terms of power unit. Probably the gap we had to Mercedes was around about, if you take the total gap, 60% of it was probably coming from the power unit and the remaining 40 from the chassis, most of which was an aerodynamic deficit. So rear downforce is, is clearly a, an important thing for uh, lap time, especially with this generation of cars that have quite high levels of torque from these very powerful power units. Um, we, were, we were missing a little bit in, uh, in rear downforce last year, and to try and counteract that, we've done a number of things. The rear wing family has been reinvented. It's much more stable now, we think, both in dry and wet conditions, and in windy conditions as well as still air. So the rear wing is new. Uh, as well as that, there's a completely different arrangement of rear brake duct and cutout between the tire and the floor of the car. Both of those areas are very important for rear downforce generation and both have been substantially reinvented. I'm afraid, I'm afraid we won't give out percentages like that because those, those sort of answers are too valuable to our competitors. I will give a little bit of an idea though. Uh, around about 1% of aerodynamic improvement gives about one tenth of a second. And around 1% uh, of uh, horsepower improvement gives about one and a half tenths of a second of lap time improvement. So look at our car this year, compare it with last year and make your own judgment how much you think we might have improved both of those. You'll, you'll see it uh, on, the, on the outside of the car. There will be changes, of course, going on under the skin all the time, but, um, but the aerodynamic program will be um, substantial through the year, and you'll see the changes in the exterior shape of the car as the season unfolds. The regulations are fairly restrictive aerodynamically, so the cars can't be dramatically different from one race to the next, or indeed from one team to the next, um, but you will see the changes. Uh, Rory's been uh, an important part of this team for many years and he continues to be today. His experience, his ability, uh, his enthusiasm uh, are all things that contribute strongly to our team and uh, it's a pleasure working with him um, and, uh, and I look forward to doing so for, for a long time to come. Clearly, we, we hope that not just the power unit is more competitive next year, but the entire car. Um, our deficit last year to our competition was not just power unit, it was 60% power unit, 40% chassis. We have to improve both of those. We've worked long and hard on each, and uh, on the power unit, I hope that the, that the work that we have put in will, will have, uh, have helped us create something much more competitive this year. You never know in Formula One what, what the new season will bring. Um, but if history is a guide, a gap as large as we saw it last year with Mercedes will make them formidable op opponents also in 2015. Um, so most likely they will set the yardstick, but we, uh, we intend to be, uh, to be hunting them down and uh, performing at a much higher level than the year before. No, no particular issue and, and thousands of particular issues. Designing a, a car, the design team that, that, that produces a new car every year, it faces thousands and thousands of challenges, each one of which is an issue. And, uh, and so all of those issues have been addressed and we hope um, the result is something greatly improved on last year. But the normal themes are the ones uh, that remain dominant, horsepower, downforce, drivability, 
um, all of those things remain the key items to create a competitive car. The new, the new team structure at Ferrari is, uh, is considerably streamlined on the one that we had previously, it allows us uh, easier decision making paths in the company and it allows the team principal uh, an easier control of the company that, uh, that he runs. So although right now of course there is, there is an amount of work from all of us to bed in with that new system. Um, the future is bright under it because it just allows decisions to happen more swiftly than previously. Well, when you're a child, you, uh, you tend to like the, uh, the driver that's from your own country. And when I was a boy, Nigel Mansell was doing very well. And so I used to like Nigel Mansell driving a Williams. As soon as you start working as a professional in this sport, you only care about the team you're working for. And, uh, and that's, that's very much the case today. The biggest challenge I face is the same one as face, is faced by the entire team from top to bottom. It's to restore Ferrari to being world champions in both categories, both driver and constructors. We're absolutely focused on doing that and it's something we will achieve. Uh, it's a little difficult to answer that question with precision because, because although uh, this team has worked with Kimi now for a whole season, um, Sebastian is new to the team this year. So winter testing will be really the, the first opportunity for us to see in detail what the similarities and differences are between their driving style. But looking at it from uh, the point of view of having seen uh, Sebastian in other teams, the way he drives, um, and knowing a bit about the way Kimi drives, I think their styles are relatively similar and, uh, and that they should both pull the car in, in the same sort of development direction. In, in every Formula One team, the, the staff are committed. The staff of every team want to win. The thing that is special about Ferrari is that there is, on top of that normal professional commitment, there is a layer of passion, a layer of passion that's driven partly by Italian character and partly by the long and glorious history of this team. All of us feel that that history on our shoulders and it's, it's a real pleasure working in an environment where it means so much to be successful, where it matters so much that we can bring this car uh, and bring our team back to the level that they should be at. It's really impossible to judge uh, what, we, what we will have done relative to Mercedes all I can say with absolute confidence is that the guys working on the power unit here in Ferrari could not have gone further, could not have pushed harder and, uh, and the amount of performance we've found is, is pretty useful. I hope it's sufficient for us to have closed some of the gap or I hope as much of that gap as possible but only time will tell. Um, but what I know with absolute certainty is the guys here have done a tremendous job.